Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the limitations of using different diagrams to represent a molecule or a giant ionic structure. Now, during this topic, we've seen several different ways that we can represent molecules, and one of these ways is a dot and cross diagram. I'm showing you here the dot and cross diagram for the molecule water. Dot and cross diagrams like this have one advantage. Because we use dots to represent the electrons from one atom, and we use crosses to represent the electrons from another atom, it's very clear where the electrons are coming from. However, dot and cross diagrams such as this one don't tell us about the shape of the molecule. Now, another way to show a molecule is a two-dimensional stick diagram such as this one. The problem with these diagrams is that because a covalent bond is shown as a stick, we cannot tell which electron in the covalent bond came from which atom. Stick diagrams also give us no idea of outer electrons that are not in bonds. For example, in the water molecule, four outer electrons on the oxygen atom are not in covalent bonds. And finally, two-dimensional stick diagrams do not give us accurate information on the shape of the molecule. Another way of representing molecules is to use a three-dimensional stick diagram like this one. This is for the molecule ammonia. The benefit of a three-dimensional stick diagram is that it shows us the shape of the molecule. Okay, now we've also seen diagrams to show giant ionic lattices. I'm showing you here the giant ionic lattice for sodium chloride. This is called a ball and stick diagram. Now the benefit of a ball and stick diagram is that it allows us to clearly see the ions in three dimensions. However, in ball and stick diagrams, the ions are shown as widely spaced, when in reality the ions are packed together. Instead of using a ball and stick diagram, we can use a space filling diagram like this one. Space filling diagrams give us a better idea of how closely packed the ions are. However, it can be difficult to see the three dimensional packing with a space filling diagram. Now, there is one problem with both ball and stick diagrams and space filling diagrams, and that is that they only show a tiny part of the giant crystal lattice. In reality, a crystal lattice is a giant structure. So both of these diagrams give the impression that these structures are much smaller than they actually are. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my Vision Workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above.